Hey everybody, Chris here. Welcome on a Monday. We've got up and down trading with Dogecoin and other cryptos. We're going to get to that. Go over the, a lot of the news going on as well as buying more crypto. That's right. Every live stream, we buy crypto live right here. Dollar cost averaging. We've got Jason, Cheyenne, Ron, Mike in the house. Welcome all. Welcome everybody. Good to see you all. Let me drop down here in the corner. And we're going to talk about Doge at 7.35. Bitcoin dropped a low 29,000. Had a little bit of a dip, but recovered back up this afternoon. So oh, maybe I should have been buying crypto at noon today instead of now. But you know, overall, if you look at it, look at Doge at 7.2 or 7.3. Yeah, I could have gotten a little more Doge at 7.2, but I zoom out and I go out the daily and it's just like, it's a little blip. It's just a little blip there. So, but when you dollar cost average, you just buy whatever the price is at the time, because in the long term, when you zoom out, we go to the weekly on Doge and we say, well, when Doge is up here at 35 cents, yeah, you're not going to remember whether you bought it 7.3 or 7.2. 35 because it's a 5x it's still like a 5x 5x pretty good that's what i'm aiming at we had this long descending resistance line that uh dogecoin traded above and that was above that long resistance line so that's good news for doge going up and of course we had some excitement with sheep of course, you look back and you say, well, she used to be up here at you know, 008. And now it's 008. So that's a 10x for she to get back up to where it was. But we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. But here's she now just fighting that was up, up oh, just over nine a bit ago and dropped back below. So we will see. So we will see. Ah, what else going on? We've got Mars. April Doge. Accumulate now. We had not financial advice, of course. Dream Tanks, welcome. Wait, wait, wait. Wait to buy after 7 Central. It's going to dip again tonight. Well, we buy at 5.30 Eastern time. That's when we buy. So we will continue to buy at whatever it is at 5.30. So Mars has been dollar cost averaging for three years. You just keep, you just keep buying, keep accumulating. You buy some a little higher, buy more a little lower. It works. It works. If you try and go all in and you buy all in dip like XRP, right? That this was the one, the one I use as an example. We've been dollar cost averaging XRP, but we started dollar cost averaging XRP, you know, up here at like 72, 73. Uh, we caught one on one of these dips down here, back up here at 70, 71, and XRP has just been fading down. So if you believe that XRP, after this big run that it had back here on the 13th of July, so if you went all in at this dip at 70 cents and you're like, okay, I'm going to go all in here. Well, now we're down at 60 cents. So this is what this is when dollar cost averaging works. Now, there are times when, yeah, there's a dip and then a coin just takes off and it doesn't stop. But that's in the bull market and we're not in a bull market. Not in a bull market. Not yet. So you see this sort of trade off or sell off here a little bit on XRP and you're like, well, just keep buying. Just DCA a little bit more. <laughs> so, so that's what we're doing here. And I'm just proving with this portfolio that we're building here together over the next two months that the dollar cost average works when you're in this bearish kind of market. And that's where I think we're still going to be in the next month is we're still going to be right around. So we're just, and you know, 
you buy now, you could wait, right? You can say, oh yeah, Bitcoin's gonna drop to 25 or 20, Doge is gonna be back below seven cents. I'll just wait till then. But what if it doesn't and you're waiting? That you're not in the game, right? You're not in the game. So that's why DCA works. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So this is what we're watching on the charts with Doge 735. We'll see where it is in 15 minutes when we start buying. See if it's higher or lower than 735. So what's going on in the news? Dogecoin address is profitable despite slumping prices. Even at 735, 53% of the wallets that own Dogecoin are still in profit. Now, a lot of us don't really have a wallet. Like if you bought all of your Doge on Robinhood, it's sitting in a Robinhood wallet and that wallet only counts once for everyone. And that one's in the green. That one's way in the green because Robinhood was accumulating all of their Doge to have as reserves back when it was below a penny. So that big wallet, that is that is definitely in the green. But a lot of our wallets are in the green also. Now there are some in the red. Some people bought Doge when it was up at 10 cents or 12 cents. Dollar cost averaging at 7 cents brings your average down, gets you closer to being in the green. That's what we're talking about. So here's one exciting thing about Dogecoin's growth. You want to know what that exciting thing is? You today says it's exciting. What's the exciting thing about Dogecoin's growth? So uh, crypto showing a little gro gloom across the board. Combined crypto market cap pegged at about 1.16 trillion. Negligible growth, Doge, the crypto industry's premier meme coin been caught up in the web of the bearish outlook, dropped about 1%. Yeah, that's now about down about 1.5% or so over the past 24 hours, and down like 6% the past week. Despite this bearish outlook, Dogecoin showing an exciting twist, an exciting twist per data from crypto analytics platform into the block, 53%. Of the wallets are profitable. So, same bit of news. You today thinks it's exciting. I think it's cool. Not exciting yet. It's not going to be exciting until we get like 75% in profit. So, we need Doge to go up and get more into profit. So, uh, utility of Dogecoin is a highly dynamic one that showcases and rewards loyalty in the long run. The exciting fact about the Doge profitability data is that users who have held a coin for a relatively long period of time are bound to be better off when compared to other top digital currencies in the industry. Unless you went all in in April and May of 2021 and bought at the top, 60 cents, 70 cents, like I know some people did, most of us who've been dollar cost averaging, we're in the green. Dogecoin has a lot of fundamental backing designed to help power its growth in the future. One of the top assumptions is the potential role that it will play at X, formerly Twitter, with rumors that the social media platform will soon pivot into a payment platform. Well, Elon's not gonna pivot the whole <laughs> X into a payment platform. It's just another function he's going to add to it as he continues to make the X app more robust with live streaming now starting. Yes, you're going to be able to live stream on the X app as well as post longer form videos. They're going to be entering that. They've opened it up for, for content creators to get paid on X app. I just like to hang out here on YouTube though, because I got my community here. We got, we're having fun here. So, but you can always join me on the X app, formerly known as Twitter, Chris Pax. So at Chris Pax, there I am. So do give a follow. Uh, and I have some fun over there too. But here on YouTube, 
If you haven't already, please subscribe at Chris Pax here on YouTube. So do give a, a subscribe and then go ahead and like the stream too while you're there. Appreciate the likes as well. Get more people coming in. So that's what we're doing here. That's what we're doing. My doge is on Robin Hood. I personally like it. And you know, that is just fine. Uh, hello, everyone. INS says we've got a waving hand. Dream Tanks is streaming 24 7. You stream 24 7? Hmm, okay. Uh, I will not be doing a Discord server, Mars. Uh, Jason says, I like Robin Hood, but you want to own your keys. Robin Hood holds your Doge, can leverage it against you. Yeah, Robin Hood's not doing that. They're, they're not playing those games. I mean, Vlad has pretty much said that he, he's not playing those games. That Doge that they hold is a reserve for the people who own Doge on the platform. And they're not playing games with it. And you can just, you can see it in the, in the wallets. It's sitting there. So, um, yeah, and they transfer from wallet to wallet every now and then. They make some big wallet transfers. Um, I'm not sure exactly why they do that, but that $32 billion or 32 billion Doge um, that's in that now top wallet, that was in another wallet, and they just changed the wallets. It doesn't cost that much to move all of that Doge anyway. So, but I'm not really sure why they do that. But again, that's just the reserve on Robinhood for the people who own Doge and bought Doge on Robinhood. So if any of you are interested, I have a link in the description below there for joining Robinhood. If anyone wants to try that out, I know most people already love or hate Robinhood, but I do have a link there. I also have links to Coinbase below, and we'll be looking at Coinbase in a few minutes here and buying more crypto live on the live stream. I also have a link to Weeble for those that want to use Weeble. Now more for stocks, they've moved their crypto over to Weeble Pay, and I'm not quite sure about that, why they had to do that, but I own all my Tesla stock on Weeble, and I love their, uh, their online uh, uh, app for for tracking all of their stuff, works very good. And then of course I have Ledger, we're talking about saving crypto to a hardware wallet, like, like Jason was saying, uh, I use the Ledger Nano S Plus, that's what this is here. And I have a link in the description below there, if you guys wanna check out Ledger for hardware wallet, because with the Nano S Plus, you don't have uh, you don't have Bluetooth. You don't have to engage in any of that backup capability. You don't have to turn that on. Perfectly safe. And people get all worried that, oh, they can go and steal my crypto. They're not going to steal crypto. If anyone gets a hint that someone through a back door stole crypto from Ledger, Ledger's business is done. So they were adding this feature for people who are like forgetful and think they might lose their their C phrase or something. I I don't get. I guess they're trying to move sort of in this area that can they can be more uh, friendly to newbies. Um, but of course, us, us old timers in crypto are just like, what are you doing that for? The whole idea is to have security, not have someone else have your you know know who your keys are. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, yes, Periscope updated to, I don't know what they're going to call it, X Live or X, whatever that is, but yep. Elon's doing it. And the, the, the little test one that Elon did, the most recent one, the video quality was pretty good. That was pretty good. So, yeah, he's got some engineers working on it. That's looking pretty good. Uh, so what else going on here? Why Dogecoin traders can expect prices to fall lower? So, uh, so we did have did have this um, uh, that there there was selling pressure over the past day or so with Doge. Uh, we saw with Bitcoin again dropping down below twenty nine k. The possibility of Elon Musk incorporating Dogecoin 
into the X app could lead to a wild rally. But this scenario is uncertain and its timing could entirely be dependent on Elon Musk's whims. So some people are get all excited and the Doge price goes up, but then nothing happens and people get disillusioned and they're like, oh. and of course the shorters are out shorting Dogecoin whenever Dogecoin price goes up. Um, you know, this is the same kind of sentiment that uh, was in early 2021. And people were selling Dogecoin in March of 2021 when it was around four and a half cents. And in April, it took off. And if you were trying to play games with swing trading or you had sold, you missed the big run in 2021. I'm not going to miss the next run. We don't know when it's going to be, but that's why I'm accumulating. So what are the Doge entry points? What's the entry zone? suggested by trading expert this is michael vandepop if any of you follow him that he's thinking and here's his here's his tweet here his entry zone for doge and here it is blown up he's thinking we're going to see a dip to 6982 so that would be just below seven cents of which it did a few times back here in may and early june before it permanently dropped below into the sixes and came up and retested before dropping lower. We could see that scenario play out again, where Doge could do a dip and it could hit that 6982. And I, I could see that happening. So I think there's a lot of people who are setting limit orders for 699 and 698, waiting for that dip just to get it below seven cents. There are people who are doing that. From there to a dollar, it's a 13x for Dogecoin to a dollar. The safest 13x you can find in the market, PQ says. Okay, Dogecoin to a dollar 13x, the safest. We know that there's going to be a lot of excitement about Dogecoin. A lot of us are betting on Elon Musk incorporating Dogecoin into the X app in some manner. That's going to be exciting. And that's why we're here. That's why I've got a bag full of Doge and I buy more Dogecoin every week. I continue to accumulate Dogecoin and we're going to buy more here in a few minutes. That's what's going on. Can Dogecoin by 15 cents next after clearing resistance is a breakthrough imminent. We know what it's waiting for. Yeah, a lot of it, until that big catalyst actually happens, a lot of it's just going to follow Bitcoin. Bitcoin goes up, Doge will go up. Bitcoin goes down, Doge will go down. That's how we see the overall crypto market. But you know, like we saw with Sheeb on Saturday, Sheeb took off, right? And Doge kind of followed, not as much a gain of percentage wise, but then she dropped back down again because Shibarium isn't launching yet. That was kind of a precursor, but there, there were some people who were still filling some bags of Sheeb. And then there's profit taking and it goes down. And that's what I what I had tweeted out here this weekend, which you saw that big run of Sheeb, and then you got profit taking. So yep, some profit taking on Sheeb. That's what we saw. So follow me on Twitter at Chris Pax. I post uh, uh, I post uh, charts and my thoughts not only on uh, crypto but other fun things as well. So, so go ahead and give a follow on 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 X app Twitter. We're having fun, having fun. Here's Doge down to seven three four from seven three five, getting about just about time to buy. Just about time to buy on our DCA portfolio. Let's see what else we got in the news. Uh, Dogecoin lead dev urges for imminent Doge withdrawal amid Huobi, Huobi insolvency rumors. Oh, Misha Bar isn't the lead dev, I don't think. Um, but he makes a good point about holding coins on exchanges that may be a little questionable. I don't question Coinbase or Robinhood, 
but I question just about every other exchange when it comes to holding crypto. You see, I do not have Binance US here anymore because I don't support Binance US anymore because I think I just don't know what its longevity is going to be and whether they're going to stop selling or trading crypto. I, I, I don't know. And because of that uncertainty, I don't support it. I've moved everything off of Binance US. And uh, so now it's all Coinbase and Robinhood for me for crypto. That's what I'm using for my trading. Now I've got it stored. Most of my crypto is stored either in Exodus or in Ledger. So, yep, 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 yep. And then we've got uh, Narwhal here. Welcome. Uh, so yeah, I've got that as my uh, next my next news item here is PayPal. What is PayPal doing? So PayPal is launching their own cryptocurrency. And their cryptocurrency is made by Paxos, which is the same company that made the BUSD coin for Binance. They've made this PYUSD stable coin and they also announced later today that they're going to be able to link that with venmo so you're going to be able to move this uh this stable coin between venmo and paypal so that's pretty cool um it's not really a cryptocurrency i i it's hard to it's hard to say that on uh, on an app like PayPal, even though with PayPal, you do, um, you are able to transfer your cryptocurrency off if you want to, but it works just like Robinhood does. Because uh, I bought a bunch of Litecoin before on PayPal and you don't have your own wallet. It's sitting in PayPal's custody. And then if you want to transfer it out, you can then uh, tell it what wallet you want to transfer to, and it'll transfer to that wallet out of one of their wallets that they have. That's how they do it. That's Robinhood works the same way. Um, so this stable coin will allow users on PayPal to maybe more easily trade between different cryptocurrencies. And then if they want to uh, if they want to sell, you know, do some trading, sell their crypto. Like if I wanted to sell my Litecoin, I could sell it to this PYUSD stablecoin and not worry about US dollars. Uh, I think this is going to be better for other countries and it's going to be good for transfers between different countries. So you're not transferring us dollars right if i had us dollars on paypal um if i if i send those us dollars to someone from another country that doesn't work so well but i could send the stable coin and i think that's really what paypal's getting at is being able to do these cross-border transfers of of money but this currency is actually a stable coin so that's really what i think the main goal is is for paypal to to be able to have those uh, transfers of, of, of currency between different countries. So, because I know in a lot of businesses, people will only be able to use PayPal in the United States, let's say, and you can't use it in other countries. This is a, when I was in the domain business, this was a big deal, buying and selling uh, uh, internet domains that a lot of people couldn't pay with PayPal or accept PayPal because they're in some country where PayPal doesn't doesn't work. So they would use cryptocurrencies. But then a lot of people weren't into cryptocurrencies and they said, well, I'll only pay if you can or I'll only sell if you can pay it through PayPal. This solves that. So so that's pretty cool. I think that's good overall. I think it's good. So, so that's what's going on with PayPal. But they don't have Doge yet. PayPal doesn't have Dogecoin. They got to add Doge. And maybe they're not doing it just because the spite Elon Musk, I don't know. <laughs> but they should have Doge as well. 
Oh, look, the Doge went up to 736 while I'm sitting here talking. Bitcoin up to 29.2. And you know what's been what, what's actually been making good gains finally is Algorand. So in our portfolio, we're up on Algorand because we were buying Al Algorand down in the tens. Now Algorand's up in the 11s. So good for Algo. Finally, Algo's been beaten down so bad this year that it's about time Algo started to see some some movement. Let's go ahead and let's look, let's look at the top cryptocurrencies. And over the past 24 hours, what's been moving? Bitcoin Cash, Optimism. Optimism's been moving. And here's Algorand. So over the past 24 hours, Algorand's up here. And Link, Stellar, they've been moving. But yeah, it's good to see Algo finally, finally starting to move. Optimism's been beaten down too this year. So good to see Optimism making a move back. Where's Dogecoin? It's still the seventh, seventh largest cryptocurrency on coin market cap. Doing just fine, doing its thing, holding its own. When the bull market starts again, a lot of people are going to be hearing about cryptocurrencies, and there's going to be a lot of excitement about Doge, and you're going to get a lot of new users coming in buying Dogecoin, just like we saw in 2021. It's going to happen. A lot of us, the first cryptocurrency we ever bought was Dogecoin. So it will happen. So this is the time to just accumulate. So that's what we're doing. We're accumulating. Let's buy some crypto. Here's our portfolio. We're down $77 right now in our overall portfolio. Everything is in the red except for Algorand. ETH is still messed up on this. It doesn't list it properly. Um, but I know the ETH is there. Uh, but our Algorand, our, our Algorand is in the green and everything else is in the red. Some of it just slightly, Bitcoin just slightly. Um, but overall, we're just we're just accumulating. So what are we gonna buy today? I know I, I know I want to add some more XRP. That's the one that's down the most. But XRP in its chart is down. Oh, it's just it. You know, I thought I'd be able to get it for sixty-one cents. It's just over at sixty-two sixteen. Let's see. The last Algorand we bought, which I have on my little chart here, was sixty-three thirty-three. So, and our average right now is sixty-nine. Sixty-nine cents is our XRP average right now. So buying at sixty-two. That's a good thing. So we're going to, the first, uh, first we're going to buy is XRP. So on Coinbase, this is Coinbase Advanced. That's what we use here, which uh, Coinbase Advanced is, uh, it's free. There's no, you don't need anything special to, 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 uh, to trade on Coinbase Advanced. And here's XRP. Right now at 62.07. So let's buy some crypto. Uh, the price is 0.6206 now. And we're buying $50 worth. And that has filled. So we just got some XRP. So dollar cost average and our average on XRP has just come down now from 69 cents to like 68 cents with that purchase. And I can go back to that portfolio and it'll show, yeah, 68 right there. So our, our average just went down. So good for XRP. Uh, what else are we going to buy? We always buy Doge. So let's see how Doge is trading right now. 7358 for Doge. Point oh seven three five. Seven. 
going to put $50 worth of Doge down. So 675 more Doge. And that's Phil. All right, well, those are the two I wanted. What do you guys think? What else should we buy? We could uh, average down on some of that are already in our portfolio, or we could start something new. Litecoins, our average is 86.93 on Litecoin. Jasmine, Sol, we could add more algo if we think algo is going to keep going up. But that's going to be averaging up now because we're already in the profit on Algorand. But if we think Algorand is going to continue to go on a run, there's good support. Yeah, might be good to buy some more. More Doge. Always Doge. <laughs> uh, yeah. I know there are some of you who are only Dogers, but uh, I like to support other blockchains and, you know, let's see what we got. The, Alg the Algorand chart is looking very good. It's just looking very good. So we're going to get some more Algorand. I got to type that in Algo. Eleven thirteen. That's going to pick up about four hundred and forty six algos. So we added Algorand. We're going to pick up one more. Ron's buying a Doge and Sheep. Sheep. You can add sheep. We don't have any sheep in this portfolio. It's under nine. So point oh 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 eight nine. dollars worth that's five million sheep that picks up Ron just bought 50 million sheep good luck good luck with that Ron That sheep is not filling right there. Ah, we'll just let go. Everything else filled. It'll come back down. It'll hit that. So that's what's going on, guys. So we'll be watching this. Oh, uh, yep, sheep just filled. There we go. Just got a notification. So that's our crypto we've added to our portfolio. We'll be buying some more on Wednesday. I'll be back Wednesday. I'll do a video on Tuesday. We'll be back live Wednesday. And we'll see what's going on in the world. There's always news. That's one thing. I mean, the last bear market, you wouldn't hear anything about Dogecoin. I mean, for a week or two weeks, there'd be nothing about Dogecoin. Now, every day, there's something going on. There's news going on. So that's what we're following. Also following the overall crypto market, everything that's going on. It's all tied together. So, hope you all are well. Give a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Always appreciate the support. We'll see you next time. Uh, Dogecoin, which started as a complete joke, has like skyrocketed to not a joke anymore. It hit an all-time high of almost 10 cents yesterday, but it was so minuscule, you wouldn't have understood why you have millions of shares. Didn't Elon tweet that too? And arguably, the most entertaining outcome and the most ironic outcome would be that Dogecoin becomes the, the currency of Earth in the future.